Hi, good evening, my dear students. Good night, teacher. Hello there, how are you, Mary? Um, I am very well, and you? I'm doing good, thanks for asking, thank you. And I'm happy that you're doing well. Let's see, uh, William, how are you? I can't hear you, no. I don't know why. And also, no me aparece su nombre tampoco, sino que me aparece su número de teléfono. So, I don't know why. <laughs> Let me check Monica. How are you, Monica? Fine. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Good to have you in class. Let me check. We have um, Angela Rosario. How are you, Angela? Good night. Hi, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Excellent. Very good to have you in class. Welcome. Let's see, Carlita. How are you, Carla Hernandez? Fine, thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back to the class. Let me check. We have Janina. Hi, Janina. I didn't saw you last class. How are you? Very well, thank you, teacher. Excellent. Eh, no la vi la clase pasada, Janina. Nos hizo falta su participación. Sí, es que aquí llovió muy recio a mí y se fue la luz y ya no pude. I imagine. Don't worry, but it's good to have you in class today. Sí. Welcome. All right, my dear students, so welcome back to today's class. We have, as per usual, pretty good content. Let me share with you my thing. Okay, have it in here. All right. We have Monday, September 3rd, 13, sorry, 13, and 2021. What are you doing? That's the topic. We are in class uh, 13, right? Look at you, everyone. Like two weeks or three weeks before, we were in class number one, and now we're in class 13. That's great. Now, let's check a little bit of content just to review before getting into another content, right? We have this uh, pretty good review. Present continuous, just no questions. Let's see. Listen to my pronunciation, then you will practice. Questions. Are you wearing a suit? Are you wearing a suit? Answer. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Right? Basic. Is she wearing boots? Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are they wearing glasses? Glasses. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. And no, they are. Are it. No, they are not, and no, they are. It. Give me one second, everyone. One second. I'll be right back. All right. So let's continue. I'm going to have a Monica. Can you please ask question number one to Janira? And Janira, you are going to give me the answer. Are you wearing a suit? Okay, now Monica, give me the answer. Hmm. Let's see, Maria Teresa, give me the answer for number one. Okay. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Excellent, very good. Now, Angela Rosario, ask question number two. 
to Carla de Hernández, please. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she is not. No, she is not. Excellent. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Very good. Thank you. Emilio, please ask question number three. This one. And you're going to ask that question to, to let me see, to Janira. And Janira is going to give me the answer. We hear you. Empecé yo mismo. No, you are the answer. Usted es la respuesta. Ah, bueno. bueno. Emilio, you are the question. Usted es la pregunta. Your microphone. Tiene apagado el micrófono, Emilio. Sí, ok. Yes. Eh, are they being classes? Are they, they wearing? Are they, Repeat after me. Wearing? Are they wearing? Uh -huh, wearing? Glasses? Wearing glasses. All right. Thank you, Emilio. They, Continue, Janita. Are... is going to give us the answer. Okay. Yes, they are. No. They are not. No. No, they aren't. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Emilio, Emilio and Janita. Thank you so much, both. Now, if you notice, my dear students, in here we are not giving that much of information. We are just saying, yes, they are, no, they aren't. Basically, we're not giving or providing more information. This is the guiding structure. And let me check. Karen, can you please read the guiding structure? Good night, Miss. Hello, uh, good evening. Bear to be plus socket plus bear plus e a m g plus complement plus question mark. Excellent. Very good, Karen. <coughs> I'm sorry. All right, everyone, so let's continue. This is the guiding structure. If by any chance you didn't have it, now you have it. You can copy this on your notebooks because then you will practice. Let me know when you're finished copying the structure. Okay, let's move on. I think that you have finished. We have this guiding examples. Okay, let me check. Uh, Carla de Hernandez, can you please read question number one? Number one, are you calling Pablo? Mm -hmm, excellent, are you calling Pablo? Very good. Maria Teresa, number two. Number two is Marta eating pizza. Excellent, very good. Monica, number three. Are, are, you, are Julio and Fernando drinking soda? Excellent, very good, that's correct. Jamilet Torres, number four. Uh, 
are wear, wear uniform. Okay. Repeat after me, Jamile. We. We. Are we? Are we? Wearing. Wearing. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Jamila. And the last one, Janira, please read the last question. Is David driving home? Uh -huh, exactly. Repeat after me, Janira. Driving. Driving. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. Is David driving home? Excellent. Listen carefully, my dear students. <coughs> Please pay attention. These are verbs, right? Actions. They're usually, when they are in present, they don't have the ing. This one, okay? When they are in present, they don't have ing. But it's in this case, we are talking about present continuous. We need to add the ing. That's the only differences between uh, the verbs in simple present and present, right? And simple present and present progressive. Please keep in mind that also when we are in present progressive, we are talking about actions that are happening right now, okay? Those actions, those actions are not yesterday, in the morning, before, no, right now. So let's check. It says practice time. And let me see. I'm going to have Anibal. Can you please read the instructions? Practice time. Instruction one, work individually. Two, create one question using present continuous. Yes, no question. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Anibal. All right, everyone. Let's work on your notebooks. Remember the structure, right? Let me know when you're finished. Finish. All right, excellent. Finish. Very good. Finish. Excellent. Okay, one more minute for the ones that hasn't finished yet. All right, we can start now. 
Let's see. I'm going to start with Carla de Hernandez. Please tell me your um, question. Is Anna and Mary shopping? Okay. Actually, your, your question is pretty good. But if I have Anna and Mary, what should my verb to be? What verb to be I'm going to use? Yes, R. R, exactly. Very good. Good that you learned it. Excellent. Okay, R, Anna and Mary shopping. Very good. And let me check. Oh, all right, Carlos, thanks for letting me know. Let's go with uh, Maria Teresa, please. Okay. Is she shopping in Metro Centro? Mm -hmm. All right, is she shopping in Metro Centro? Excellent, very good. Tengo otra. Uh -huh. Is he watching televis television? Television, excellent. Television. Mm -hmm. Very good, that's correct. That's correct, my friend. And let me check, got it. Mateo is play, playing? Uh, but in question, you told me Mateo is playing, but in question? Uh, is Ma is he is he Matthew uh, a player? Okay, all right, very good. Is is Mateo or Matthew is Matthew playing? Play. Okay, thank you. Recuerde que su subject ya no necesita decir he después de que dijo Mateo porque se toma que Mateo es su subject. Right, that's correct. Let me see, Monica. Are Kaylee and Mateo eating pizza? Excellent, very good. Kelly and Mateo eating pizza? Excellent. Let me go with Aníbal. Are you going to your work? Exactly, very good. Are you going to work? Uh, Janina? Carla, Carriel, Kier White, Wallet. Repeat again, please. Carla, Carriel, Kier Wallet. Okay. Let's pay attention to that one, Janita. Is Carla Karen? Recuerde que el verbo to be va primero cuando son questions. Is Carla mm -hmm. Karen? Mm -hmm. Her wallet is Carla going her wallet. Excellent, very uh. good. That's correct, Daniela. Very good. Let's have Carlos Guevara. Is he playing play PlayStation? Is he playing PlayStation? Excellent. That's correct. Is he playing PlayStation? Very good. That's correct. Let me get Gladys. I saw you were raising your hand, Gladys. Sorry about um, that. Are they building a house? Are they building a house? Very good, Gladys. That's yes. correct. <laughs> and let me go with Angela Rosario. Angela Rosario. No, let's see. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh -huh, Angela. Are you driving a car? Are you driving a car? Very good. Excellent. And let's go with Linda Alas. Are they waiting for the bus? Ah, uh -huh, excellent. That's correct. Very good question. Are they wearing, waiting for the bus? Let's see. I'm going to have 
Um, let me see. I'm going to have, where is she? Mrs. Torres, I don't see her. Ah, Jamile Torres, there you are. Ah, ya le iba a preguntar porque a lo lejos alcancé a oír que dijo Torres. Ah, ya yo, Mrs. Torres, ¿dónde está? Ahorita. Y, eh, pero no sé si ya está bien así, Miss. Is Hubert eating fried chicken? Right, yeah. It's Edward or Edward? Hubert, con J. Uh, Hubert. All right, Hubert. Eating fried chicken. Yes, eating the action in progressive. That's correct. Uh -huh. okay. That's very good. All right, my dear students. With that being said, let's move on to the next one. This is really practical for you. Conjunctions and and but. If you may have noticed in present continuous or progressive as well, you're going to find out some conjunctions. The same way as in Spanish, we use conjunctions. The same way is going to be in English. Now listen, um, let's see, we have what are conjunctions? I'm going to have Linda Alas. Can you please read the information? Okay. Uh, what are conjunctions? conjunctions? Repeat conjunctions. Conjunctions. Mm -hmm. Conjunctions are words that link other words, uh, phrases, phrases, Phrase. or clauses together. Excellent. Very good reading, Linda. Thank you. So we have this example. I like cooking, right? The action of cooking and eating, but I don't like washing dishes after work, all right? That's like, I like this, but I don't like this, or I prefer this, but I don't prefer this, right? With that being said, I have this guiding examples for you, my dear students. Hey, Jamile Torres, can you please read example number one? I drinking soda, um, eating pizza. Eh, eso no sé cómo se pronuncia, Miss. But, um, but, perdón, but, but, I'm um, not what, watching TV. Thank you. Very good. Very good. I like drink. I oh, know I'm drinking soda and I'm eating pizza, but I'm not watching TV. That's correct. Let's see, Gladys Escobar, can you please read example number two? I don't have Gladys. Let's go with Carlos Guevara. Can you please read example number two? Arnold is listening to music, but uh, he is not studying. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Arnold is listening to music, but he is not studying. Right? That's correct. And the third one, or number three. Let's see, Monica. They are working, but they don't like her job. Excellent, very good. Basically, when we are using but, it's because we're gonna say something negative about something, or we are not doing a specific action, right? Like in this case, I'm using um, ing in the second action. Now, with this being said, let's move on to practice time. Instructions. I'm going to need a 
Let me see, Maria Teresa. Intra in interruption. Work individually. Um, number one, work individually. Two, create um, sentences, sentences in which you use a progressive tenses, but at the same time, you are using con conjunctions. 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 All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, remember to use conjunctions, right? We're going to create one sentence in present, in present progressive, but please keep in mind to use conjunctions. I like this and that, or I'm doing this and that, but I'm not doing blah, 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 right? Let's use it, please. Have you finished? Finished, teacher. Hello, Miss. Thanks. Nice. Hi. Yeah, I'm done. Hi, William. Finished. Ahora sí ya le escuchamos, Miss. All right. Okay, Miss. Excellent. All right. Now that my dear students have finished, let's just start. Let's see, Karen. Tell me your um. A drink, a drinking coffee. I, I am studying English. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking coffee and I'm studying English. What else? But uh -huh, Karen, where is our but? All right, let's check Monica's sentence. She is eating pizza and soda, but she is not drinking wine. Excellent, very good, very good that one. Ajá, Karen, veo que tiene encendido el micrófono. About and no end. All right. That's correct, thank you. And let's go with Maria Teresa. I am drinking water. And, um, I am, is time, um, but I'm drinking am, water. And I'm uh, studying. Uh-huh. Um, but I am not watching TV. 
Excellent. Really good. That's great. Para no distraerme, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. That's correct, my friend. And let's go with Janira Velasquez. What you got, Janira? She is from in Salvador. No, no, she, no. La verdad es que no, me ando con un poco perdida. Yes, Janira, don't worry, yo le ayudo. A ver, Janira, ¿en qué tiene, en qué tiene confusión o cómo puedo ayudarle yo? que la verdad es que no estaba poniendo atención a lo que usted quería. Ah, ok. Sí. Vaya, veamos estos ejemplos, Janina. Look at these examples. Básicamente, el present progressive son para acciones que estamos realizando en el momento. For example, you and I were talking, right? We're talking. Um, the students are watching the classes or the students are studying son acciones progresivas en el momento exacto if you notice in here Janina we have two actions mm -hmm. para unir esas dos acciones de drinking and eating utilizo este conector esta conjunction esta conjunción mm -hmm. sería and que significa y I'm drinking soda y I'm eating pizza, right? Mm -hmm. Tengo dos ideas, two ideas in one. And I have my other conjunction, which is but. Esta es la segunda conjunción o la segundo, el segundo conector. But I'm not watching TV. Algo que usted no está haciendo, una acción que no se está realizando en ese momento. Esto equivale al pero, ¿verdad? Que nosotros utilizamos. Uh -huh. Ok, so le voy a dar más tiempo, cree su oración, and then we are going to be back, right? Bueno, mis, la hago y se la digo. Excellent, very good. Meanwhile, mientras tanto, meanwhile, I'm going to have a Carlos Guevara. I'm drinking limonada and I'm eating pupusas, but I'm listening music. But I am not, maybe I am not listening to music. I am not listening to music. Uh huh, excellent. That's correct. Now, keep in mind, uh, Puede ser positivo, pero rara vez se utiliza el but con algo positivo, right? Most of the time, utilizamos el pero hasta en español para cosas like negative, right? So that's the case in here. Let me check. Thank I'm you. Going to have, all right. I'm going to have Aníbal Galicia, please. I'm doing my work and I'm listening to music but I'm not paying attention to my sister. All right, excellent, very good. I hope you, that you're paying attention to the kids. <laughs> All right, excellent, Aníbal. Let's go with Carla de Hernández. They are eating chicken and soda, but they don't like potato chips. All right, excellent, very good. That's correct. Let me go with Linda Alas. My son is playing and he is eating pupusa, but he knows he's studying. But he isn't a studying. Very good, Linda. Very good. Let's go with Gladys. Gladys Escobar, did you already pass? Ya pasó, Gladys, no, verdad? Eh, en esta no. Okay. Tell Veamos. Me. I sleeping and not in my classroom. Uh -huh. yes. I'm sleeping. And not in my classroom. Okay. Recuerda que necesita una conjunction para dos ideas. 
que vienen siendo tal vez no las mismas, pero sí similares, right? For example, I'm sleeping, I'm not sleeping, and I'm not eating, but I'm not watching TV. Mm -hmm. Si lo Sería, quieres, entonces... es negativa, está bien. <laughs> Yes, entonces aquí estamos bien con I not. Ah, lo puede comenzar con I'm not. I not in my classroom. I'm not in my classroom, ajá. Uh -huh. And I'm not paying attention, for example. Mm -hmm, Como no está en el classroom, no está prestando atención, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> y de utiliza su bot para contrastar. Ahora bien, como ya me las comenzó con negativo, va a necesitar otra palabra al final de todas las oraciones que le dé sentido a la oración principal. Okay. En este caso, usted puede poner... Claro. La... ¿Ah? No, no. Ok. Uh, puede poner... Eh... ¿Dónde está Gladys? Ajá, ahí está. Attention. Ah, para not... Eh... No, porque ya puso I'm not in the classroom. No, como he puesto, I'm not sleeping in the classroom. Uh -huh. and I'm, and not. I'm not in my classroom. I'm not in my... Pero si usted me dice I'm not, estamos en presente. Yo quiero... Yo era... I'm not. No, ahí no me está haciendo progresivo. Necesito un verbo progresivo. Por uh -huh. ejemplo, staying... A uh, paying, listening. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm not listening in my classroom. Okay, I'm not listening in the classroom. And I'm not paying attention. We, we could say, right? Podríamos decir, and I'm not, I'm not paying attention. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería, I'm, I'm not listening in my classroom. I'm not attention. And not paying. Recuerda que necesita su verbo en progresivo. And I'm not paying. Permítame, William, solo voy a explicar eso. Y luego pones donde está. Ok. But I'm okay. not doing something else. All right. Now let's see. William. My example is. I'm paying attention in class. But I call connect. But, not, but I'm. I'm paying attention in class. Uh -huh. But I call connect. But I can connect. ¿Será así? Eh, pero no me podía conectar. Ah, para I was... Es que ahí es otra cosa, porque ahí ya me vamos, nos vamos a pasado. Ahí me puede decir, I wasn't... But I wasn't able to connect. Oh. Uh -huh. It's okay. different. Right? Uh -huh. pero, pero la primera oración sí está correcta. Yes, indeed. Sí, está correcto. Ya yes, sin decir. Y a la segunda, ¿qué es lo que le falta? Que no me lo hagan pasar. Okay, okay. Remember that decir? we are in progressive. Ah, ok. Very good. All right. Excellent. Very good. Now, let's get somebody else. Uh, well, I think that we're not pretty, we're not missing anyone pretty much. Or if you're missing, raise your hand, please. Si, si, si alguien hace falta, levanten su mano y quieren participar. You can raise your hand. No one, all right? Jamile Torres, excellent. Tell me, Jami. Miss, no sé si está bien así, pero yo así lo hice. I drinking eh, juice orange. Um, I am eating burger, but it no washing TV. Yeah, that's correct. It's pretty much like this one. Sí, es correcto. Lleva casi la misma estructura de esta. Solo que en orange, eh, tiene que decir orange juice. All right. Orange Ah, ok. Primero tiene, primero tiene que ir orange juice, no juice orange, como lo había puesto. It's orange juice. Okay. Excellent. Very okay. Good. Gracias. You're welcome. Maria Teresa, I saw that you were raising your hand. 
no sé si por equivocación o quiere preguntar algo. Otro ejemplo. Ah, ok. Que no, sé si está, que no sé si está bien, teacher. ¿Mm? Usted me dirá, I am wearing pyjamas, and uh -huh. I am sleeping in my bed, but uh -huh. I am not dreaming. All right, Soñar? that's correct. Uh -huh. Not dreaming. It's correct. Not dreaming. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's correct. correct. Sí, sí, está correcta. No se sorprenda si usted oh. buena. Thank you, teacher. All right, excellent. Very good. All right, everyone. Yeah. If you have any questions about this part specifically, you may ask me. Pueden preguntarme. Así no, no sigo avanzando tanto porque quiero explicarles bien eso. Si tienen alguna duda o consulta, pueden preguntarme. No questions, no doubts. Let's move on. Miss. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, William. Eh, o sea, de que eh, si hablamos en el presente, está correcto. Eh, por ejemplo, I am paying attention in class, but I do not understand. Uh -huh. Pero ahí está haciendo progresivo. I am paying attention in class, ah, but I don't understand. Pero no entiendo. Uh -huh. Exacto. Está correcto. Que es indir, si puede. Sí. Si yo le decía que es que no estaba mal que usted utilizara pasado anteriormente. Está bien. Uh -huh. Pero para okay. eso tenemos que saber utilizar el pasado. Ajá. Pues ahorita estamos utilizando un, como digamos una otra eh, regla gramatical. Ahorita estamos siempre en el progressive. Eh, vaya, les voy a explicar eso. In English, we have tenses, ¿ok? Lo que nosotros decimos, decimos tiempo gramatical es como el presente, futuro, pasado. In English, are tenses, ¿ok? Verb tenses, ¿ok? Así se le llama, verb tenses. Okay. Entonces, ustedes los van viendo igual. Comenzamos con el present, luego vamos con el progressive, present progressive, which are actions happening in the moment. Son acciones que están pasando en el momento, right? Okay. Y después vamos a ir al past. No estoy segura si lo van a ver en este curso. Yo creo que no lo van a ver en este level, pero sí lo tienen que ver más adelante. Ok, mi. Uh -huh. Muchas you're, gracias. You're welcome. There you have it. All right, my dear students. Let's get to this part. We have zones, basically time zones is as in here. But what I want you to practice right now is your vocabulary. So listen carefully. Vancouver, Los Angeles, or Los Angels, or Los Angeles. <laughs> it could be either or. Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town, Casablanca, London, Warsaw, Moscow, or Moscow, Raya, this one, Raya, Seoul, Se 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 Bangkok, Tokyo, and Sydney, okay? These are cities, cities. What I want you right now is to practice the vocabulary, all right? You have the audio in the platform, all right? You have an audio, and I'm pretty sure that you have practiced already. But let's check how are we doing with vocabulary. I'm going to start with uh, Aníbal, please, from one to ten. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. All right, let's continue, Aníbal, in here. Casablanca, London. Warsaw, Moscow, Riot, Seoul, Bangkok, 
Tokyo, Sydney. All right, excellent, very good. Now listen, my dear students, because we are Latin American people, right? We are Hispanic people. For us, if you notice in the audio, they say Casablanca, but because they are North America, right? But as we are Hispanics, we can say Casablanca easily, okay? It's not need for you to say Casablanca. You can say it Casablanca, like literally as it sounds, right? Now let's move on with Carlos Guevara. Please, the vocabulary. Okay. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town. Let me move. Casablanca, London, Warsaw, Moscú. Listen, Warsaw. Warsaw. Uh -huh. Eh, Moscú, repítame Raya. este, el número 5. Raya. Right. Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Excellent. Very good, Carlos. Very good. Let's go with Linda Alas, please. The first one. Vancouver, Los Angeles. Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brazilian, Sao Paulo, Cape Town, Cape Town, uh -huh. Casablanca, London, Warsaw, 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 uh -huh. Moscú, Prague. Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. All right, excellent. Let's go with William. Okay. Vancouver, The Angels, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town, Casablanca, London, Warsaw, Moscú, Rai, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Very good job, excellent. Let's go with Maria Teresa. Okay. Number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, there you had. Vancouver. Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, Cape Town, Cape Town, Cape Town, Casablanca, London, uh, Warsaw, Moscow, Warsaw, Moscow, Right, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Right, excellent, thank you. Now, everyone, if you listen carefully in the audio that you have in the platform, in this part, they say Moscow, Moscow, right? Remember that this one is W, so they ended up with Moscow, right? In this one, Warsaw, Warsaw. You don't need to emphasize the W in this one, like Warsaw, no, Warsaw, right? And basically that's pretty much it. Now, uh, because of the time, I won't have all of you practicing with the vocabulary, but maybe tomorrow we will, right? Now I have this conversation and I want you to practice with it. Because today we're going to learn, or oh, we're going to go deep in timing, right? Practicing time depending on the songs. So I'm going to have Monica, you are Debbie, and Karen, you are John. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie, this is John. 
I call I call me from Australia. Australia. Hi. I'm Gopher and Sydney, remember? Oh right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. Miss, ¿cómo se dice PM? Yeah. 10 p.m. Está muy bien. 10, 10 p.m. Uh -huh. And it's 4 o'clock. There is the Los Angeles ride. Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. Uh -huh. A.m. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm really sorry. Thank, okay. I am, I wake now. Excellent, very good, thank you. That's okay, porque ya ni modo, ya me despertó, right? <laughs> Excellent, very good. I'm going to have um, Angela Rosario, you are Debbie, and William, you are John. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? And at conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 uh, p.m. o'clock. And it's 4 o'clock there in the Angels, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a m o'clock oh i'm really sorry that's okay i am um wake wake no excellent very good very good thank you let's get to maria teresa you are a uh, john and janita velasquez you are debbie action Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am I'm calling from Australia. Australia. Um, at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, great. What time is this here? There? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I am really sorry. Thank you. Okay, I am a week. No. Excellent. Thank you. Repeat after me, Janina. That's that. That's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very really good. Thank you. That was marvelous. Let's get Aníbal Galicia. You are John and Gladys Escobar. You are Debbie. Action. If not, if we don't have Gladys. Hello. Yes, there you are. Uh -huh. <laughs> Debbie. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm coming from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. Was I in steer? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in, the, in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm, so, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. Excellent. Really good job. Thank you. Now, listen, I'm going to have the last pair. Linda Alas, you are uh, Debbie. And Carlos Guevara, you are in uh, John. Action. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock 
there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am awake now. Excellent, bravo. Repeat after me, Carlos, four a.m. Four a.m. Mm -hmm. Four a.m. Four a.m. A.M. El mismo del letreo de las del alfabeto, ¿no? A.M. A.M. Okay, four a.m. Excellent, very good. All right, my dear students, before moving forward, I have a question for you. Um, how are we doing with the exercises? Hoy he recibido buenas noticias. Algunos de ustedes, algunos de ustedes me han dicho que ya finalizaron la plataforma, and that's perfect. Y otros no. Entonces quiero consultarles cómo vamos con los ejercicios de la plataforma. Van avanzando porque recuerden que no solo necesitan su diploma, sino que necesitan llegar al otro nivel. So I have a question. ¿Cómo vamos con los ejercicios? Teacher, yo en la lección 4 no me queda claro la utilización de los... Eh, de las estaciones, como los, esta los temporales. Si sí, sí. yo voy haciendo la, los ejercicios de plataforma conforme a las clases que voy recibiendo, porque es como más fácil eh, para mí. Eh, uh -huh. Clase recibida, ejercicio realizado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes, I got Ajá. Y, eh, Pero en esa parte de las estaciones, uh -uh, no la hice la primera vez, Y creo que de cinco tuve como dos buenas. Uh -huh. okay. Y de ahí lo borré otra vez y dije, voy a preguntar porque si no, no comprendo. Vaya, eh, Mónica, Mary creo que tiene su número, ¿verdad? María Teresa creo que tiene su número. Sí, es teacher. Vaya, entonces ahí le voy a escribir, Mary, para que usted me lo, me lo pase y poder comunicarme yo con Mónica para ayudarle con el ejercicio. Porque recuerden, sí es cierto, está muy bien lo que hace Mónica, que ejerce... Eh, topic trabajado en la clase, lo trabajan también en la plataforma, pero recuerden que a veces a mí me toca quedarme un poquito atrás porque tengo que darles más explicación de las cosas, right? Entonces no quiero que ustedes se vayan atrasando porque ustedes en realidad tienen que avanzar lo más que puedan, right? Entonces eh, so yo le voy a escribir, Mónica, para ayudarle con el ejercicio. Mary, usted tenía otra pregunta. Um, no, bueno, sí, teacher. Um, tenemos hasta qué día de esta semana, es que me hablaron y me explicaron que teníamos hasta el 15 para terminar la plataforma sí, pues, o yo entendí mal eh, hasta donde yo tengo entendido, si sí tienen que terminarla hasta el 15 around en, Ajá. pero es no estoy le... segura si ya incluye el examen final hasta el 15 no sé si Creo... eso se lo mencionó Ajá. Sí, fíjese que eso no me quedó muy claro porque la persona que me habló, este, bueno, la, no fue la persona que me habló, sino fui yo la que como que venía manejando, venía en carretera, no escuché muy bien esa explicación y no me quedó muy claro si tenemos hasta el 15 haciendo ya hasta el examen o hasta el fin de semana. ¿Será que me puede eh, averiguar sobre eso, teacher? Porque yo trabajo más que todo la plataforma fin de semana, así como le explicaba, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Por cuestión yes, de tiempo. Uh -huh. Yes, indeed. Yo le averiguo, yo les voy a averiguar eso y les voy a informar. Y teacher. Eh, yes, Mónica. Una pregunta. Pero uh -huh. según las clases y conforme vamos, todavía estamos en la lección 4. No, esta ya es... Eh, ahorita en las 5. Ajá. Dice Hasta ahorita. Ajá. Sí, lo que pasa es que recuerde que me tocó alargar un poquito con lo del Progressive, porque aún así todavía ahorita nos cuesta un poquito el Progressive. Sí. Y yo lo que no quiero es que les quede dudas. Por eso le mencionaba a Mónica, que si usted puede avanzar, recuerde que la misma información, no la misma, porque aquí yo, yo la, real, la desarrollo paso step by step, ¿verdad? Pero sí va a encontrar algo con que ayudarse para avanzar en la plataforma para mientras, porque mm -hmm. sí hay cosas que aquí yo tengo que explicarlas más detalladas. Ah, vaya, perfecto, teacher. Así no, no se atrasa usted, ¿verdad? Sí. All right, everyone. Now, let's check this. This is just before we leave because we are just about to finish the class. Tomorrow we're going to see this topic, okay? How to say the timing, right? It's one o'clock. 
remember that we have more than one form or one or more than one type in which we can express time. Instead of saying it's one o'clock, I can say it's 1 p.m. or it's 1 a.m. Or simply just say it's one, right? No more than that. It's 1.05. It's five after one. I have two options. It's 1.05 or it's one after, it's five after one, right? Remember the after means this place. It's 1.15. It's a quarter after one. It's 1.30. It's 1.40. I in here in this one, it's 1.30. I could say it's 1.30 or it's one with 30 minutes, right? And then we have, it's 20 to two, right? I have two options in there. Or I could easily say it's one fourth and I stop in there. And then we have, it's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. In here we have the, um... yes, Maria Teresa? Una consulta, teacher. Mm -hmm. Siempre que digamos it's one o'clock, Um, siempre se tiene que decir um, in the afternoon mm, o really? solo it's one o'clock. Ajá, recuerde que si ya estamos en el mediodía, yo le pregunto, what time is it, María? Y es obvio que es en la mediodía, entonces Ajá. usted solo puede decir it's one o'clock. A menos que sea por decir así, estoy hablando por teléfono, allá tienen otra hora, entonces sí, para hacer la diferencia, ok. Pero entonces acá, acá, acá. Sería así, it's one o'clock. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Puedo decir, okay. también puedo decir it's one, nada más, o puedo decir it's one a.m. or it's one p.m. Ok. Mm -hmm. Gracias, gracias. Right. Excellent. All right, my dear students, because of the time we're going to finish thing here, tomorrow we are going to develop this and we are also going to practice with this, right? It was a pleasure to see you and I'm seeing you tomorrow in class. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye.